Good morning, everyone. This is Dr. Eugene Sanders, CEO and superintendent for Sandusky City Schools. I am here today uh, on Friday, September the 3rd, uh, 2021, to bring you two very uh, significant and important announcements as it relates to the Sandusky City Schools. First of all, I'd like to say thank you to our students, parents, and our faculty members uh, for their continued diligence as we continue to make flexible decisions regarding how to address COVID and uh, other protocols in the district. So thank you very much to the Sandusky Middle School parents, faculty, staff, and students, and those at Sandusky High School as well. I'm proud and pleased to say today that all students in the Sandusky High School and Sandusky Middle School uh, will report to school on Tuesday, September 7th, the day after Labor Day, for our regular five-day in-person learning format. Again, all students at the high school and Sandusky Middle School should report to school as regular on Tuesday, September 7th. Our marketing and communications department will be disseminating um, information this afternoon uh, via text and our website uh, and other measures to make sure that all parents with students uh, attending, with children attending those schools uh, are made aware that we will be uh, in person on Tuesday, September 7th. We're delighted to be able to share that announcement and we look forward to seeing everyone at school, at the middle school and the high school on Tuesday. All of our other schools will maintain their regular open five-day in-person format as we go forward. I also have another announcement uh, today to share with you that's uh, equally as important, and it has to do uh, with how we want to try to ensure uh, safety and ensure that we're able to stay in school going forward. And the announcement I'm going to make is based upon about seven different criteria or core values that we're using to make all of our decisions as it relates to COVID. First of all, we wanna do everything in our power to ensure that we stay in school. We want to be in school, in person, five days a week uh, in our regular format. And to do that means making some adjustments from time to time. Secondly, we want to ensure that all students, faculty and staff are as safe as possible. So all of our regular protocols, hand washing, appropriate social distancing where we can, um, and protecting yourself as best we can through our cleaning and safety protocols, all of that will continue. And we're asking everyone again to do their part to make sure we stay as safe as possible. Thirdly, we also want to follow the recommendations of our health professionals, specifically our colleagues, uh, Mr. Pete Shade and those at the Erie County Health Department uh, and the Centers for Disease Control, along with other respected safety uh, and health uh, professionals in terms of what are the best protocols for schools uh, in order to uh, stay in school and meet the, our objectives. We also want to take steps to uh, provide as regular a school year as possible. Every time we have any decision to make, we want to try to do it in a way that allows our children to have as regular a school year as possible. And earlier this summer, prior to the start of school, I met with the senior class officers and the student council officers at Sandusky High School. And one of the personal commitments and professional commitments I made to them was to do everything in our power uh, to ensure that our schools stay open for five days in person uh, as best we can under all the circumstances that we may be confronted with. So please know as we go forward, that is our highest priority. We also want to ensure that we stay in constant communication and receive direction from our Board of Education. The Sandusky City Schools Board of Education has been exemplary in their commitment, dedication, their passion, and their uh, commitment to ensure that every decision is made is in the best interest of our students. And we will continue uh, to make that, and I know our board members will continue to make that a, an extremely high priority. We also remain committed to transparent, open dialogue and communication with you about every decision that we make. 
we understand, and I certainly understand, that every decision will not be met with a lot of applause. But every decision we make, we believe, is always in the best interest of our students. And we will make that our highest priority. We will tell you exactly what's transpiring, exactly what's occurring, and, and do our very best to maintain uh, the priorities that we've laid out, which is always focused on how do we ensure high academic standards uh, amidst the COVID-19 uh, pandemic, uh, and most recently here, the, the Delta variant. And then finally, uh, it's important that we keep in mind that the students and families that we serve are a high need population. A good percentage of our students are high need populations basically meaning that a lot of our families are essential workers. They have to go to work. They have to maintain their regular schedule and commitments. And that's why we're making our commitment uh, to be uh, in school five days in person uh, as long as we can and in every situation that we can. And that's why we make decisions on a case-by-case -case basis and a school-by-school -school basis. And uh, it means that our kids, though, really need to be in school. Uh, they need to receive their education, and we have dedicated uh, professional teachers and educators across the board who are committed to making sure that that takes place. So here's the next steps in our protocol to achieve those objectives. Effective Tuesday, September 7, 2021, all district employees uh, will be required to wear a face covering while in a district building. All district employees effective when we return back from Labor Day on Tuesday, September 7th, will be required to wear a face covering while you're in a district building. This is based on the recommendation coming from a recent meeting with Pete Shade and our colleagues at the Erie County Health Department, and also in consultation with our Sandusky Education Association and our Sandusky Non-Teaching Education Association these are our two union uh, organizations that we work with very closely. And thanks to both of them for supporting uh, this effort to keep us all safe. And then for our students, uh, I want to highly, highly and strongly recommend that you wear a face covering as well. We want to encourage our parents and grandparents, as well as our guardians, that they would please strongly consider uh, making sure their child or grandchild wear a face covering to school. Now, it's not mandatory at this point, but if we can make this effort with our faculty and staff, we're hopeful that that can stem the tide and really make a difference in terms of having quarantine concerns, uh, limiting student access to schools and extracurricular activities, and all the other negatives that come along with having an impact on our school environment. So again, uh, for all faculty and staff, starting on Tuesday, September 7th, there is the expectation and requirement rather, that you will wear a face covering uh, for your professional work inside of our school buildings uh, throughout the course of our school day. And we expect that to start on Tuesday, September 7th. And I want to thank you in advance for your cooperation uh, in this effort. And finally, uh, today, on a little bit of a brighter note, uh, tonight we play against our rivals, the Fremont uh, Little Giants. I think they are from Fremont, Ohio, somewhere. But um, this is a big uh, game for us tonight. We're excited for our blue streaks and all of our fall sports. And we've been playing Fremont a long time. And we certainly would love to defeat them on uh, tonight in particular. So if you're going to go to the game, please govern yourself accordingly. Please stay safe and uh, make sure you reflect the pride, tradition, and excellence of what it means to be a Sandusky Blue Street. Thank you for the opportunity to bring in this message. And as always, if there are questions or concerns, you can email me directly at askdrsanders at scs-k12.net, or you can call my office directly at 419-984-1000, and we'll respond to your call promptly. Thank you again and go Blue Streaks.